Hi, I'm Tom Smothers, and I just want to congratulate Elise and Richard Airwood for honorary, getting the honorary chair persons for the Growers and Vintners, Sonoma Valley Growers and Vintners Alliance. I toast to you over this beautiful area, which is vineyards here at Arrowwood. Congratulations. In the early days at Seijing, during uh, harvest, uh, when we were working, you know, 12 to 16 hours a day, we would uh, frequently send out for uh, meals for the crew. Uh, Dick had sent out to the restaurant and had a whole bunch of, uh, of um, rotisserie chickens brought into the lunchroom. So uh, Dick and I were absolutely famished. And between loads, we snuck down into the lunchroom without anybody knowing. And Dick and I ate all the drumsticks off the chickens. And we, to this day, no one but Dick and I have known that secret. Now it's out, yeah. It's too late, the statute of limitations has passed. We were having a special dinner uh, at the Girl in the Fig. And I remember him saying to me, if you are young and liberal, you have a heart. And if you are older and conservative, you have a mind. I'm not sure that's going to go over. <laughs> I saw it all from the very beginning. When Richard started out making wine here in Sonoma County, he became a rock star overnight. Don't tell him I said that, of course. And Elise and I both worked for a winery. So we had set up appointments for two days to go visit wineries around the area. Well, the last day was a visit to Chateau St. Jean Winery. And of course, Richard being such a big star, we didn't expect him to really be spending time with us. So as we're leaving the winery, all of us are talking about what a great experience it was. And Elise was really quite quiet during all this time. And she turned around and she said, well, I'm not sure exactly what you're all talking about. Because as far as I was concerned, he ignored me the entire day. He was one of the rudest men I've ever met. And we all turned around and said, what could you possibly be talking about? He just spent all this time with us, and he's like the hottest winemaker in Northern California. And she said, well, for every time I asked a question, he ignored me, but spent all this time talking to you, and it was as if I wasn't even in the room. Well, that gave us all a little thought, because she's a beautiful woman, beautiful green eyes, red hair, gorgeous. And so we figured that it was probably because he was attracted to her. Well, sure enough, he called her, and this is where Richard and I differ on what exactly happened next. I say he called her the next morning, but he said he was much cooler than that and waited 48 hours to call her at 7.15 in the morning. So, he called her at 7.15, shortly thereafter meeting her, and the rest is history. They make a, a very wonderful soft wine, lots of, lots of flavor, lots of tannins, and, and that's just like their personality. They're, uh, they're just great people. Elise is, is phenomenal, but so was Richard. So. Richard! You dick! Dick Airway! Richard the dick! Winemaker! You right wing neoconservative winemaker! Go on! <laughs> Call Rome's best friend, Dick Airway! <laughs> Throughout the years when we were crushing grapes, we always bet, and it was always a dollar. Never more, never less. Except for this one party that we attended, and the discussion came about as to what is considered the um, baby boomers. What were the parameters? And I said it was 46 to 64, which Dick completely disagree with, and he stuck his hand out and says, I'll bet you $100. And this was unheard of in a bet. And it was one of these moments where he knew he was right and I knew I was right. You know, I mean, it was one of those handshakes in the eye. And I think we spent the next hour of the party on a computer finding out exactly what the definition of baby boomers were. And sure enough, it was 46 to 64. And he handed me that $100 bill at the party and just put it in my hand. But the interesting part of the story is that from that day forward, every time we made a bet and he won, 
he considered just whittling down that hundred dollars. It was okay. Now you're only ninety-eight up, or now you're only ninety-seven. I wouldn't want out. Damn, you're back to ninety-eight up. Elise, you're one hot woman. I think about you. I don't know how often, but I had a, I had a personal experience. Not with you, with myself. But I, you were in mine. You're a one deal. How can you be with that dick when you could have a tom? <laughs> On a red chair, I'd do a chair dance with you. I understand big shadows. And I understand being the wind beneath the wings. I have a celebrity as a husband. And let me tell you, he gets 99.9% .9 of the attention as he deserves. And if I give one thing to my dear friend Elise, the honorary chairwoman of the Sonoma Valley Vintners and Growers Auction, I would say, Elise, it's your turn to stand up and take a bow. You deserve it. It's as much your honor as anyone else. And I know Richard would be thanking you for saying this, too, because he loves and honors your commitment to Arrowwood as much as I do. I remember, drinking is exercise for your liver. <laughs>